Please watch part one of this video before you watch this video. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give it the score out of 10 for the hotel. And I'm going to tell you how much it costs for one week half board. Basically ransacked it and... Island cow. Any crunchy little cornflakes? Good morning. So we're on day two yeah. and we had a good night. Did you have a good yeah, night? Good night's nice sleep. Good night's nice sleep. The bed was lovely. It was really comfortable. Mine was comfortable. I, I thought that um, uh, yours was a bit more comfortable, but uh, that's what you get when it's a single bed. Yeah. Wow. So it was good. So, so we had breakfast. Had breakfast. Yeah. Quite but, windy. Yeah. But it is quite humid to be fair. Um, got a lovely mountain tops over there yeah it's just general nice vibes here so breakfast was good breakfast uh, what was a little bit disappointed we had a, a a coach party in quite early before us and they basically ransacked it and took all They're, the, oh, they just took took all the took, took all the good pastries stuff, and like, croissants and things and they uh, took most of the melon as well oh they yeah took all the yogurts. and they haven't restocked it from when we went in but that, what we had was, was very good yeah. so yeah but i'm gonna give and a nice it, cup breakfast I, the only, i had a pancake which was really good so i'm gonna rate it an eight out of ten breakfast. eight out of ten i would give it a good solid seven out of ten um, yeah that's fair so yeah it's not really the hotel's fault that it had a big coach party yeah. in, so now i did notice something in the room last night which was a little bit disturbing that um when i got into bed that there was uh, some ginger hair and the, the day before um when we arrived was that uh ginger hair and like the, the mattress really? and um the day before the person who was doing our rooms who also left black hair who didn't clean the bath properly had probably some pick, was picking her hair and just put it in the bed <laughs> yeah anyway i'll win the next bit Clouds rolling in and mountains. It looks like um, when you were up there, when you were up there, probably the idea of fog. I like um so this is the outside terrace where we can bring a drink out. Uh, when I'm it's sunny. I say this would be really good. But look, that's this means yeah. a little bit off. Yeah, um, it could do with some new furniture, couldn't it? Yeah, don't, you know. It's a little bit tired oh, looking. So far, I think it's more of a three star than four star.
What's it called, Ted? Lock Morlock. Lock Morlock. Well, lots and lots and lots of them. And we've got to go paddling in it. I so reckon this sand's been imported. Yeah. You don't often get sand. You don't often get sand in places like this. Like in the Highlands of Scotland. I know, yeah. Refreshing. It's actually not too bad. No. Is it? Well, once an initial shout. The ducks. try our best but this is the main pool in the hotel it's got as you can see a big yellow slide there which is really fun we've been on it today and some wave pool uh, it's got a wave pool which is also really fun and if we come down this way a tiny bit you may see that there's also oh there, there is a sauna back there and a steam room and when it's out of order for the minute because some well the the steam room saw is not out of order no this pool it says pool closed but um, oh the children's yeah i think pool. that's fed for like little babies yeah. you know that sort of little thing. baby pool there uh. yeah i also had a um play in that last year but it's so closed. we're having to film outside looking in when the pool is closed because we're not allowed to film when everybody's in there of course if you drop a phone in it could right pri well privacy reasons yeah so sorry guys you get to see the pool when it's closed Ooh, but yeah it's, it's also, quite a big pool and it's got a wave machine yeah it, which is good it doesn't go too deep i think it only goes about 1.5 meters deep and then yeah. the shallow end is like 0.9 so what do you, what do you rate the pool Oh, easily 10, maybe 9.5 out of <laughs> I'm going to have fish and chips. So I've gone for the common skink. Then got sausages. Then got sausages. You get brown roll. 
Yeah, it looks really nice. It's like a fish soup. Traditional Scottish fish soup. Alright, so we've got some haddock here. Uh, and all I can say is this looks delicious. It was worth about a 45 minute wait for this. Now, these chips, well, they look amazing. I've uh, got some nice peas. And then this is lemon in here, put it in a nice little bag and some onion for you. So, smashing dinner. And I've gone for the burger, which it looks a bit of a towel burger. Bon appetit. Okay, so as you can see behind us, it's a nice sunny day here in Aviemore, and um, we're gonna give our overall rating for the hotel. So, my rating is gonna be a three stars, I think. A three star instead of a four star. Yeah, or two point eight, something around that. You know, floating around there because it's 2.8 no it's got to be a full star okay yeah. three stars then um because i just thought the food is excellent and the restaurants the restaurant aspects there is a bit dreary um it yeah the hotel yeah. overall could do with an update yeah. now it's looking a little bit tired and within the resort there are other the hotels which have been done up um, there is one. and you can see the difference you might be able to see it on there yeah it's where giovanni's was yeah, and yeah. Th that's been recently done up that's very um, nice and this but, building the the actual highland um yeah highland hotels but section. on the first day um when we got in our rooms wasn't weren't pop properly cleaned we no. had hairs in the bath i had a stain on my bed mm -hmm. you know yeah, well, we, we, we didn't get room they sorted service. that out for us. We um, didn't get much room service, but... Some staff yeah. are super friendly. Some, some and of them. They all work really hard, but some of them are little a little bit, bit fed up. A little bit fed up, yeah. I should say. Um, and a little bit stressed out. And I think there's a, a language barrier with some, some of the staffs, because some of them... Uh, Romania, Ukraine. I would say th their English is pretty good with some of them, yeah. but some staff it, it's either they use You've it got to, a majority to, to of English people, Scottish people. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the Scottish staff are really friendly too. Yeah, so really overall, friendly. I would say the the staff are a, a credit to the brand, the, yeah, um, they, the they, McDonald they brand, um, and they probably all deserve a pay rise because they're all work but, really well, hard. To be honest, the, the cleaning staff. Um, well, they, they don't seem to be fed up, to be honest. Because, well, we haven't really seen many of them, but... I did see one the other day, in the and he got rock music on in he? the room, and he was cleaning with his hoover, well, and he looked all, he looked all happy. Well, well, fair enough. But in the uh, Aspects restaurant last well, night, the, where we the, were sitting, yeah, um, we were sitting sort of near the uh, entrance into the kitchen, and uh, I'll show you this video now of the, of the floor. It, it's not been cleaned for a long time. Um, it's pretty disgusting, really. Uh, so and that's coming up on the video now. What? What? What is an, a little bit disappointing is in Aspects as you walk in through the entrance, they all the lights just start flickering at you and it gives you a bit of a headache yeah some of the yeah some of the lights that, are strobing so that. the bulbs need to be changed yeah so yeah this, uh, this brings us to how much it costs for we stayed well we're still here but we're here for a week um and we're staying on a half board basis and how that works is we get uh, 25 pound per head spending any of the restaurants on the resort and then anything Isn't over that pounds? no we've got 25. a 50 pound credit because okay, we, yeah. we was waiting um 
a while for a meal. Oh, yeah, like an hour and a half for a tiny little meal. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we get the £25 that we put towards and then we pay the difference for anything over. Which, the, the food is good. food is the good. Food is on, good. On the whole, the food is really good. My dinner last night was the best. Yes, I, I, I enjoyed mine as well. Yeah. So, for one week in the double room, which was featured in part one of this video, that came to £2,030 for just one double room. But for the entire cost for the entire family, which was two family rooms and the double room, the price was six thousand five hundred and twenty pounds um, for the total for one week, a half board basis, and that does... in the Highland um, Resort Hotel in Avonmore, and it's part of the McDonald chain. Yeah, I just want. So to... it's a four-star hotel that's tired, uh, but in sections it's been done up. So I guess these things take a long time. Uh, to work around because it is a massive pictures, resort. From pictures, it looks like luxury. I mean, you look at those chairs; they just look like luxury. But actually, when you when I it was in the previous part, that when you go down the corridor, they they, they try to make it fancy, but all it was was just those lights that you maybe get like in um, like a business office, not yeah. You know. So. Yeah, it's it's, okay, it's, an, yeah. it's it's an, it's, it's a nice hotel, and I, I it's worth here, worth yeah. a visit because Aviemore is a beautiful place and use it as a base oh, for going and exploring out into the Highlands and the the sort of rest of Scotland. Um, so yeah, um, what do we give the hotel overall out of uh, ten? Um, let's give it a six. Six. Yeah. Teddy's a six. I'm a seven. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Please like and subscribe. Yep, yeah, like and subscribe. And we'll and make some really more helps, videos. Really <laughs> helps the channel. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye now.